afternoon. My name is Lara Gutierrez. Today, I would like to start off by talking about Anna, a young girl that died at the age of nine in 2013. She died due to a severe asthma attack. What was interesting about her death was that on the day she died, the city that she lived in experienced very high levels of noxious chemicals and an illegal amount. These chemicals were nitrogen oxide and PM10s. Scientists have researched that due to these noxious chemicals and her death, they have been correlated. related. More so, in the United States, out of 10 residents, four experience unhealthful levels of, of emission, emission pollution. This pollution causes long-term detrimental effect to our health. The World Health Organization has conducted a research in which seven million people uh, each year die due to air pollution related causes. In Asia, two thirds of these deaths are caused. Due to this, Asia has two thirds of these deaths. These detrimental, these detrimental cases and facts have led my, my group to discuss what is the best solution to combat air pollution. We have decided on four solutions. Technology, education and awareness, increased vegetation and mind, switching to renewable resources instead of fossil fuels. Today we'll start with technology. Te scientists have created new technologies and products which use less harmful chemicals and emissions into our environment. An example of this is the Absolute Tree Air, the Absolute Tree Initiative in Mexico City. They use air light planes, which use the, so, the sun's solar energy in creating more oxygen particles into our atmosphere, therefore improving our air quality. Then there is education and awareness. Education is important because it sparks public interest and lets people know that air pollution is a real situation in our nations. The United Kingdom Clean Air Hub has adopted a campaign which is a National Clean Air Day on June 15th. This campaign calls to action every citizen in every world of how they can take steps to reducing their carbon footprint. Finally, increased vegetation. Um, vegetation like plants and trees create oxygen for us to breathe. Oxygen is important and it also reduces carbon in our, in our communities. The Environmental Protection Agency of the United States has partnered with private businesses, local communities, and public, business, um, public governments in producing green infrastructure, which introduces more plants and vegetation to local areas, improving local air quality. Now, onto my aspect, switching from re non-renewable resources, such as nuclear waste, oil, natural gas, and coal fire, to renewable resources. But we must know, why should we switch to these renewable resources? Well. Non-renewable resources produce harmful emissions such as carbon dioxide, sulfur oxide, and nitrogen oxide. These harmful emissions contribute to global warming. Global warming affects our health and our ecosystems. Doing so, it negatively affects our respiratory and cardiovascular systems. It affects our ecosystems because it produces acid rain, and it affects our visibility through smog and haze. Now, Introducing um, renewable energy is known as green energy. Examples of renewable energy are solar energy, wind energy, biomass, and hydropower. These energies are important because they replenish themselves over long periods of time and they will never run out. More so, it is important to stop putting a stop putting um, strain on non-renewable resources because at some point they will vanish from our earth and continue producing horrible emissions that affect all of us. A Whole Foods in the United States has used a new sort of technology which uses, um, which captures exhaust heat and uses it to power an absorption chiller. This chiller provides cooling, heating, and cooling, heating to domestic water and occupational spaces. This is important because it uses a renewable resource to produce energy instead of putting strain on non-renewable energy. More so, switching to renewable energy not only improves air quality, but it overall in reduces curb pollution, reduces water scarcity, and increases our health. Now, on to local solutions. In Florida, and the city of Orlando, the Seminole County Public School System has adopted an alternative fuel program which uses propane to power school buses. This propane is used through glucose, a non-renewable res renewable resource, which indefinitely is available to us. By doing so, they have reduced carbon emission by 6.4 million pounds. They have been the local leader in improving districts in providing alternative fuel sources, which will improve our air quality. The Regulatory Assistance Program provides help to nations around the world in improving air quality by implementing green energy into businesses and infrastructure. They have done so in the 
in the state of Arkansas where they have provided energy and fuel sources that are renewable and decrease harmful emissions. By doing so, they have decreased the level of haze and smog in scenic areas. This is important for the, the state's um, health and tourism. Now on to global aspects. In Asia, Vietnam has become a nation which has used hydropower and increased the use of hydropower. They have, according to the Asia Clean Energy Summit, they have increased their use of hydropower from 16% in 2011 to 23% in 2016. By doing so, they have decreased carbon emission by 1.1 gigatons and, and, managed, and plan to decrease it to 0 0.6 megatons. They also plan to increase renewable resource usage by 10% in 2030 and decrease coal-fired energy. More so, in, the European, in Europe, the Solar Power Europe is a member that association which provides, which provides solar panels to at least 38 countries. They plan to do so and increase this use of solar power usage by providing communication technology and exchange money and exchange money to nations who need it in order to Im introduce solar panels into their community. This is important because solar energy is indefinite. The sun will always be there. And solar panels capture this energy and use it for later days when it is cloudier. So uh, it's another example why renewable resources are important and reliable. Now on to my innovative solution. It is important to educate our youth because they are the future leaders of this nation. They are the ones that will make the future, the future decisions in improving our air quality. My plan is to implement a green day at school. On this day, but it will be a day off where children take to plant and increase vegetation in their communities and in their school. And by doing so, they will create a social media campaign called Adopt a Plant. This is where mainly adults in their community will provide donations and funds and by doing so, they get to vote what type of vegetation they want in their community. This is important because by involving the community, adults are also aware of the effects of air pollution. The funds provided by these, by these donors will help to introduce solar panels to the school. Solar panels are at first expensive, but in the long term, they will, they will show increased levels of economical and environmental, environmental sustainability. Globally, um, it is very important to educate developing countries in the harmful and the harmful effects of at home burning of waste where they wait they burn crops and waste because they don't have adequate ways of handling their waste production it is important to teach them how to properly reduce amount of waste and how to handle that waste instead of burning it more so we should implement um implement and advocate for governments to produce um public transportation that relies on renewable resources or such as trains which are gravitate which rely on gravity to move.